Hey, hey, Dr. Juice here. Another episode of Juice TV. This week, we're going to go a little farther south. When I was down working with the medicine men, of course, I was doing uh, medical research and studied a lot of their healing techniques. They had some very powerful techniques. That's, that's a whole other story. But they asked me if I wanted to go uh, jaguar hunting. And I said, well, yeah, I like hunting. And they only use 16 gauge shotguns down there for some reason. And they said, we go at night. And we go with flashlights and we find the jaguar up in the, in the trees and you shine on their eyeballs and then you shoot them right between the eyes with buckshot. And I go, wow, jaguar hunting, sure, let's go. And because I love hunting as well as the fishing. And we've been catching the banderudos. So we go out at night and they're shining around looking for uh, the uh, looking for the jaguars and they're looking up in the tree and then they shine it on a a stump over there and whack something hit the stump and I said well that's not a jaguar what's that oh that's just the uh, Baba Maria and I go Baba Maria well what's that well some people call them fertilants it's a snake about five six feet long and it kind of it strikes wherever the light is and they said wherever the light is does it ever strike where the flashlight is and they said yeah sometimes I said no that's the end of this jaguar hunt because I know Baba Maria is the most dangerous snake in the Western Hemisphere. And it's got both a hemolytic and a thrombotic poison. And it's the only snake that'll chase down a human and be in five, six feet long. It jumps at you and it gets you in your torso so you can't put a tourniquet around your chest and then you bleed out through your pores. The thrombotic part of the poison doesn't cause excessive bleeding. It actually causes clotting in the area where, where you got bit. And so this is a photo of a 10 year old who was bitten two weeks before and it causes necrosis of the skin because of the clotting and it, this is going to necessitate amputation. And it, it's a, a horrible snake and a horrible poison. Now that's one of the biggest things that the medicine men like Hake and, and Zakar came up with out of the jungle is uh, the snake medicine. I've got a bottle I brought back here and what they do is uh, this 200 proof rum that's preserving it, but a major component is garlic. And, and they put garlic in here, and they actually carry garlic, fresh garlic, in their pockets uh, along out in the milpa field so they can treat the uh, snake bite if it happens to get them. And so, but garlic also is uh, uh, hemolysis, it causes less thrombosis, so you're not going to get the uh, clotting as much when you use the garlic. The other uh, thing in there is called birthwort, another uh, substance from the jungle. But uh, if you're able to, to eat this right away, it's going to help prevent needing amputations. Well, everybody knows that, that garlic is good for fishing. Uh, a lot of bass fishermen use it. In Europe, they're using it a lot for their match fishing. And garlic is attractive to some species of fish. It's got the aromatic amines, the oils, the amino acids, uh, attractive uh, trace elements. But actually, I'm not going to say if we're using it in the different species for Dr. Juice, because it's not attractive to all species of fish. And we do research here in these aquariums. We've got another 300-gallon uh, aquarium in the other room that we do research specifically for the species that uh, we put on the bottle because that's the species you're going for and that, that you want to catch. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of products have garlic in them. Uh, and if you find it good for yourself, that would be great. I did bring a Fertilance back from Central America and I didn't shoot this when we were out jaguar hunting because I stopped that hunt pretty quickly but I ran over it with my pickup truck and I started skinning it out uh, it was mostly dead but the locals got pretty upset they say that thing could still kill you but my father Hub Bambinick taught me uh, never waste anything that you kill yourself we were always uh, finding uh, road kills that we'd use for tying flies or the, the fur that we trapped, the birds that we shot, making buddler minnows out of the turkey feathers, uh, other flies out of uh, the ducks and the pheasants and the mink and the muskrat. So I scun it out and brought it back, but those locals kind of scared me. And so even 40 years later, I stay away from the head on this snake because I don't want to start to have to dust off this old bottle of Fertilance Remedy. When we first got there, 
there was a family next to this thatched roof hut that we were living in and the man had died and he had a wife and two kids and it just the week before he was in the milpa field with his machete and they use the machetes to clear but also to hit the fair lines when it's flying through the air at him and he had done that he hit that snake cut it in half and sat on a stump and said whoo that was a close call the problem was he birthed babies that are fully poisonous and one of the babies that he birthed by cutting that female in half crawled over, bit him in the ankle, and he died.